Previously on Cast and Crew, Chaz Masterson of the Glimpy Corporation forced the cast and crew to sign contracts that say they must advertise for Glimpy in their film. So we're going to start from the middle of the scene, and then we'll work backwards. I don't want to see any glimpies in here, please. Thank you. And, uh... supposed to be promoting that. No, Cheryl, I, I don't want to see any Cheryls in here either. I, I don't think we have to go into extra glimpy promotion. Good job. And you've got this beautiful degree, and you're wondering, why would I do dry cleaning if I have... An education from Rockhurst University, somewhere very prestigious in Michigan, Kansas. I think it's Massachusetts. There we go. So... I think I was in Massachusetts a couple days ago. This is Jeremy Matthew Kissel. Yes, we're going to pretend that Jeremy Matthew Kissel is Delia. Because J's kind of look like D's a little. I hate to get in the way. Well, I begin in the hallway, and the scene is shot in the other room, so have we moved that location, then? Uh, maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Right. No, it's here. I'm just going to do it right here. Yes, okay, then. For this I moment. The producer knows. Great. Where yes, but he's not more. here, because I'm the director. <laughs> so, yes. I'm right, so you. Fleur, you're going to work the Super 8... Yes. Right? Do you remember from your break? Hey, tell you what, you know what would make this scene look fantastic? Yes! A glimpy pastry. I'm just saying, right now, I mean, she's sitting down at the desk, obviously pretty busy. Wouldn't she love a glimpy? I'd love a glimpy. I'm hungry right now thinking about one, right? Right! Awesome. Um, tell you what, while I go to get you a glimpy, if you could just sign that for me, that'd be fantastic. Great! Okay. Right back. And I'm really just finding right now that shooting is, is slowing down, and I'm you know, I'm trying to be Money. positive, but I just, um... Uh, I just, I wanted to, uh, apologize for the way that I've been acting today. I don't know what went wrong with me. I think, I think somebody might have slipped me some sort of drug or something. Oh, so I I, really, I've, you've been really, I don't have any me memory I, of what was going on. I know on. that... Uh, I just, uh, that's, and I know, I know. I'm just glad you're feeling. Better. I know we ended a couple months ago with a big fight about my father, and it doesn't matter what it was about. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to say that I think we should be friends. And oh my goodness, no, Pepe, Pepe, just listen, okay, Pepe. Yes, no, I understand that, Pepe. Yes, I understand we had a wedding. Yes, I understand. I signed the marriage license. Yeah, that's why my lawyers are contacting you, so that we can get this over with. How do you think that that's acceptable at all? I brought you a glimpy pastry. I as, don't understand. As I, a I don't. Present. I just don't think that that's. I, as, I get that's, well okay. soon. I just present. really don't think that that's. I really acceptable. Can you please just take one bite? I just think that, that wasn't acceptable. Again. I just really don't please, think that that was fair please. at all. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. What yeah. friends I can. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh, I was really worried that you wouldn't be my friend again. He's married? That pee, pee guy? I can't keep this to myself. That little fruit is coming out once and for all. Next time on Cast and Crew, BB has difficulty working with Jake on set after learning of his marriage to Pepe, and a surprise is in store for Carl, who believes he has finally completed his lighting assignment.